Hello, I'm Doug Young. I'm a contributing editor with Acoustic Guitar, and today I want to take a look at the Humphrey Espresso, an all-new tube amplifier for acoustic guitarists. Electric guitarists have been using low-powered boutique tube amps for years, but acoustic guitarists haven't had as many choices. Of course, for electric guitarists, at least part of the appeal of low-powered tube amps is distortion at low volumes. But tube amps are also highly valued in the audiophile community for their high-fidelity sound. And that's where the Espresso fits in, as a hi-fi, clean, yet warm and very rich-sounding amplifier. Humphrey amps are hand-built in Minnesota and feature twin EL84 tubes that produce 15 watts of output. The amp has a minimalist, single-channel design with passive tone controls for bass, mids, and treble. There is a gain control for matching different pickup output levels and an output volume level control. The amp features a 10-inch eminent speaker and a baffle cabinet with a horn tweeter that can be switched on for some more high-end punch and clarity or off for a warmer, jazzier tone. There's also a brightness switch that can add a bit more sheen to your sound. And finally, on the back panel, an unbalanced quarter-inch line out for recording or sending a signal to a PA system. One of the highlights of the Espresso, of course, is its stunning looks. The uh, 20 by 16 by 9 inch cabinet is made of hardwood and you can custom order different woods. The cabinet uses dovetail joint construction and features a hand rubbed oil finish. You can even ask Humphrey to add inlay or binding to match your favorite guitar. Uh, the cabinet is sealed in back. There's a leather handle for carrying the amp and the Humphrey comes with a canvas cover to protect the amp during transport. This particular amp is made of poplar and weighs in at 36 pounds. Let's hear how the Humphrey sounds. I'm going to start with a K and K soundboard pickup in a Martin OM, and with the tone control set fairly flat, the horn on. The Espresso has fairly basic but very effective passive tone controls. Uh, the bass, mid, and treble offer gentle control over their respective frequency ranges, and combined with the bright switch and the tweeter, offer a really useful range of sounds. You won't get surgical control from these, but you can sculpt your tone in a very musical way. For example, let me switch off the brightness and the tweeter, dial in a little bit more warmth, a little more low end, and we'll get almost a jazzy sound even from this Martin. Or I can turn the bright and the horn back on, boost some high end, and get a, a much more uh, bright ringing sound. The espresso seems to sound good with a variety of pickups. Let's hear how the amp sounds with a magnetic pickup, in this case a Duncan Mag Mic. I'll just cut a little bit of the mids to uh, help reduce the electric sound of the magnetic pickup. Let's hear how the Espresso sounds with an undersaddle pickup, uh, in this case a Fishman Acoustic Matrix Natural 2 in this Taylor 914. With 15 watts of clean power, the Humphrey is not a particularly loud amplifier, but it would be adequate for a small coffeehouse gig, and it'd be perfect for use at home or in a studio. With its classy looks, it looks great in the living room beside a nice guitar, and it has a warm and inviting sound that makes you want to play plugged in. The Espresso is available direct from Humphrey Amplifiers and runs $24.95. You can read my full review in the June 2011 issue of Acoustic Guitar, or here online at AcousticGuitar.com. For Acoustic Guitar, I'm Doug Young.